and welcome to Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet. So I'm just going through at random, trying to figure out what all the uh, ends are. Uh, we got bad end number one by following the options I thought were most consistent with Syrup's character. Uh, so instead, we're going to try and uh, get a good end. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> In the peaceful town of magic users, there is a shop that only sells ordinary, non-magical candies, Atelier Sweets. The owner is known as the Candy Alchemist, a firm believer in science as the superior art. Proud and stubborn, she continues to make magnificent candies in order to prove her case. But a magical surprise waits in her basement workshop. And so, ta-da! Naked golem! Ba ba ba. So, let's not eat the cute candy girl. <laughs> I'm not eating you! And on to the next option. Da -da -da. Okay, so, to keep everyone up and coming of what's been going on in the story so far, um, I'm like 90% sure that Pastille created her. And so, Pastille's show, been showing the golem the ropes and everything. I forget if the golem has an actual name. I think it's like sweet or something. But um, showing showing her the ropes of how to keep take care of the shop and everything. So last time we said no. I thought if I said I still don't like it, we would keep her anyways. But no, we actually rejected her and sent her off to the witch. So what happens if we say, all right, we'll keep her? Fine, she can work for one day, but after that, I want her out. Thank you, Syrup! I will not disappoint you! <laughs> so cute! She's already started taking inventory by herself? What a hard worker. What are you smiling about? She'll steal your job at this rate. Ah, <laughs> slow down! Welp, I guess that's settled. I need to do some shopping. Wait! <laughs> you waited! Thank you! Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Master Pastille said that he will handle the inventory taking. If you're running errands, I would like to help! Oh, oh. I'm just gonna keep going or like towards like bad ends at this rate because I'm like, what's consistent with Syrup's character? It's get lost. But what would take us toward a good ending? It's whatever floats your boat. I am so tempted to be a bad person and a mean person and shove her away. Oh no. Let's try for the good end. Let's try for the good end. Whatever floats your boat. Fine, let's go. Huzzah! So, what are we shopping for today, Syrup? Tartrazine. 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 I've never heard of that. Does it make your candy tastier? It's food coloring. It doesn't taste like anything. Oh, I was hoping we might buy something to make me taste better. Why? So I want to eat you? Yes! Well, you're out of luck. No matter what you taste like, I'm not eating you. Syrup, you are a very stubborn person! Yep. Here we go, Tartrazine. Mission complete! Now you can make more inventory for me to take. Sure, just don't forget you're only staying for one day. That is fine with me! I will just have to become your friend before then! Oh, ho it's the Candy Alchemist, meow. Syrup, a kitty cat. <laughs> meow, meow. Where did you get such an impressive golem? I thought you hated magic things, meow. <laughs> what do you want? Gee, whiskers. I'm not so rude as to decline greeting my master's rival when I see her. Salutations, meow. Oh, how polite. Nice to meet you, kitty. The name's Toffee, meow. And what do they call you, Miss Golem? I have not been given a name. Meow, how 
how sad for you. But really, Candy Alchemist, I'm very surprised to see this mule friend of yours. Oh, I did not think we have become friends yet, but I am working very hard at it. She doesn't look familiar to you. After all, it was your master who made her, right? Was it? I had no idea. <laughs> you aren't fooling anyone, cat. That rotten witch is the only one who tried to prank me like this. She made this golem to either spy on me or try to sabotage my business somehow. Sabotage your business? Master's your best customer, yeah? That doesn't make a lick of sense. I'm sure if she were here, she'd try to take responsibility for it, though. It takes some high-level magic to make a thing like that, yeah? Which brings me back to my first point. Why is the Candy Alchemist, who's so oh, outspokenly out anti-magic, strolling around with such an unscientific creature, nya? I'll admit, you do have a point, Cat. Oh no. Okay, at this, this point in the route we're taking, take her home, take her home. Come on, we're getting out of here. <clears throat> okay, goodbye, Toffee. I kept the cat's nya in there. Oh no. Running away, nya. Well, thanks for the interesting chat. <laughs> the pair made their way home and Syrup went straight back to work making more delicious candies. In appreciation for the candy girl's enthusiasm and general willingness to be helpful, the candy alchemist decided to keep her as an assistant. And so the golem started living with Syrup and Pastille at Atelier Sweets. She became a mascot figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Gel, jelly, something. No. You'll think of something! I have faith in you, Syrup! What's going on over here? I'm trying to come up with a name for her. You're naming her? What happened to candy golems aren't pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her candy weirdo. Technically, you could! No, we really should give you a proper name. How about... Gumdrop? Gumdrop! It's a nice name! I think she likes it. Yes! If I knew it was Syrup, she would pick something good! Oh, hello! Who are you two dapper gents? Milk chocolate and dark chocolate, I guess? Hello, hello! The Chocolate Brothers are making their entrance! Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late, so we decided to drop in. Or pop in. <laughs> hello! Welcome to Atelier Sweets! Oh, Candy Alchemist, you've got sugary golems for sale now? How charming! But if we're not mistaken, isn't magic necessary in their making? Unless you found a way to create life through alchemy. She's our assistant, and I didn't make her. Oh, mysterious. I am completely taken with her. May I offer you flowers, milady? Magic flowers? You are very good, sir. Can you not do that in here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you should not boss around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? It's my store. I'll do what I want. <laughs> Hmm, would you perhaps be interested in selling this one? She's quite adorable. How much we talk? No! She's not for sale. You can buy any other candy in here, but this one's mine. Syrup, I'm delighted that you think of me as yours! Don't take it the wrong way. You just work for me. Your looks are good for business. What a shame! Golems are said to be such excellent servants. We've come to want one of our own. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh, no, 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 no! It is a very high-level spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined power couldn't result in anything close to that. I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not 
that I know anything about magic. <laughs> no, Pastille? Never. Me? What? Magic? Pshaw. <laughs> Well, well, we'll just have to give it a go sometime then, hmm? Now, I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that! Allow me to assist you at the register! She's so cute. She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she overdoes it. Whatever keeps customers happy, though. Hey, Pastille? Is it true that not just any old witch can make a golem? Huh? Well, you don't see very many walking around, so that sounds about right. Penny for your thoughts? Just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. Well, it's like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Judging quietly. <laughs> She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? N no? <sighs> Ask her to tell you who her creator is, since she won't tell me. You're my only hope, dude. Oh, oh, I already asked when I was training her for work. No luck there, sorry. <sighs> Ugh, I'll drag her, bleh, bleh. I'll drag it out of her one way or another. To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of that basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Eyebrows, eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I was planning on... I mean, we are going for a good ending, right? Like, like the best ending? And I think at this point in Syrup's character development, uh, supervising Gumdrop sounds like something that they would do. Looking after our new assistant. Hey, Gumdrop! Do you need something, Syrup? Let's do something together. I want to work with you today. In that case, I am interested in learning more about the process of candy baking. Could you show me how it is done? So you can steal my recipes? Not at all! I only thought I would make an... Uh, it would make a nice bonding experience, but if you do not wish to... Nah, I guess I don't mind. You know I've got my eye on you. I'm definitely gonna find out what your deal is. Bonding with syrup! Huzzah! Right, well, you two have fun. Then, after you pour in the syrup, you let it boil for a while. The temperature is different depending on what kind of candy you're making. Syrup is the secret ingredient? How fun! There's no secret ingredients. It's just regular hard candy. It's, it is still exciting. What comes next? Flavor. Then you pour it all out, add some citric acid and color, and make it into whatever shape you want before it cools and hardens. Rolling it around is kind of the fun part. Here, when this batch is ready, I'll give you some gloves so you can join in. Syrup! For these candies, I would like to use the color that we bought together! Oh yeah? Yellow it is then. Does singing to the candy make it taste better? I will join you! La 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 la! No, singing has nothing to do with it. It's just kind of a habit I have since usually no one's down here with me. I think your candies appreciate it anyway. That's enough rolling. Let's wait for them to cool off. This is so cute. It should be ready now. Here, try it. Actually, wait. Would eating this make you a cannibal? I, I was not made with the ability to taste things, so I will pass. Huh. What other senses are you missing? Taste is related to smell, which I am also incapable of. You sound pretty cheery for someone missing out on some of major sensory experiences, Gumdrop. I also do not feel pain! So, being a candy person does have its advantages! Huh. Guess it's just a matter of perspective then. So, why'd you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? 
Was it just to spy on me after all? I did enjoy it! I now have a better understanding of where I came from! I didn't make you though. Well, still! But maybe... Your parts were actually made by me? That witch does buy enough candy from me, so it's definitely possible. If you would like to know for sure, you could always try a bite! <laughs> Trying to trick me into eating you again? That's not gonna happen. It doesn't matter what you're made of. What I really want to know is who put you together. I cannot tell you that. I am sorry. Figures. We're done here. Give that tray of candies to Pestile. I'm going out for a while. Syrup? Aww. Oh, hello. Oop, she suddenly came out. Toffee, what do we do? Butterscotch cat. What are you doing creepily lurking outside my store? It really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name, yeah? <laughs> it just butterscotch sidles away. Don't dodge the question, question and don't try to run away. <laughs> Who's running away? This is a public road. We're well within our rights to loiter here. We came to see your golem, yeah? <laughs> Toffee told me that she's doing quite well in your hands. You know, the golem that I so magnificently crafted. Yep, your little spy is pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. I was just here to check in on her. That's right, see for myself how diligent she's being at, um, spying up close. Unless you're gonna buy something, I don't want you in my store. I brought some dosh. What does that mean? What is dosh? I can buy your candy if it means I can check out your, <laughs> my golem. Whatever, as long as you two behave yourselves. Oh, it's the kitty cat from before. Who is your friend? And this is my master, the great and powerful witch Butterscotch. Be grateful if she's gracing you with her presence now. <laughs> Oh, there she is, such beautiful gummy skin, and oh, if I could just try a bite of that hair. You haven't already? That's odd, considering you claim that you made her. That's because I had to send her over in flawless condition. I showed a lot of restraint, you know, but it paid off. She's perfect. Now, Master is at her limit. You should let her have a taste before she loses it, yeah? Absolutely not. You can have any other candy in here except Gumdrop. How cruel! You just want to keep her all for yourself, don't you? I'll put up with it for now. Just don't forget who that golem actually belongs to. Me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough whining. Just buy something and get out. And don't get any of your gross magic or drool on my stock. My magic isn't gross! You should take this drool as a compliment! <laughs> Come on, Toffee, let's blow this popsicle stand! Well, they're gone. Next time those two come by, we should really just pretend we're closed. Syrup, do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike witches? Some more than others. Butterscotch is the worst, though. Literally the worst. She thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic, which is totally wrong, of course. Then why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candies never taste as good as mine. She probably thinks if she eats enough of them, she'll absorb the knowledge or something like that. If she really thought her magic was better, I do not think she would support you by buying so many of your candies. You should be nicer to her. Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care anyway? I would like for Syrup to get along with everyone! Is that what your creator wants too? For me to be friends with Butterscotch so she can get free candy from me? That is not the intention. 
Sai, don't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening? Master Pastille, I do not think that Syrup trusts in me. What should I do? <laughs> don't worry, Gumdrop. Once she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Right, Sai? Ugh. We'll see. <laughs> Disgusted noise. All right. Since we're actually going towards a good ending, this is going on much longer than I thought it would, so I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see how this turns up in the next episode. Bye-bye! <laughs>